Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. It's on the wrong screen. <laughs> hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you 32 bread and butter bolos. Those are items that I pick up cheap at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace, and I flip them on eBay for a profit. Uh, these are items that I sold for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. At the end of the video, I am going to tell you what I paid in total for all 32 items, and I'm going to tell you in total what they sold for. So I basically am going to show you that you can make a lot of money selling bread and butter items, uh, items with, you know, they can still be big margins. Like a lot of these items I got for like a quarter or 50 cents, and you're going to see what I turn that into. It's incredible. Um, yes. Do we all like the, I paid five bucks for it and sold it for 50? or a hundred. Yes. 100%. I have big money bolo videos also, but I also like to source bread and butter stuff. So let's get started. And I'm going to share with you some of my bread and butter. All right. If you're here, I'm guessing you like to source this way. Some people won't source, um, low dollar items, but I definitely will. All right. The first item I got this at the Goodwill bins and it was just sitting there and I'm like, I think I can sell this and it's going to be super cheap because it's just a little key ring. Um, you guys, the, the shocking thing about this is it sold so fast, probably had about a quarter in it. It sold for $5 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $10 and 30 cents for this. Is this a big money bolo? No, but it took me a few pictures. I didn't even white out the background. I just got this up as quick as I could because I knew that I wasn't going to make much on it, but I wanted to get it listed. So um, that's my first one. The next one are these horses. I also dug these out of the Goodwill bins. Um, there was a uh, Lincoln log set just kind of scattered all over the place. And um, I saw the box and I think I saw the box. I know I saw the roof and the gate. I picked up the roof, the gate and the two horses. And I have those all listed separately. Um, I did not pick up the Lincoln logs. Uh, these linens here I've had listed for like a million years, it seems. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it. They're in horrible condition, but I just thought maybe somebody would craft with them. Somebody reached out to me and said that they recognized one or two of them from their childhood and that they were going to soak them and try to clean them up and they bought them. So they ended up buying the linens, these linens and these horses uh, for $24. So that was kind of cool. This Pepsi beanie hat also came from the Goodwill bins. Uh, so my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. I sold this for $13.64 plus shipping. This little guy came out of the Goodwill bins. You guys are probably looking at me right now like this woman is crazy. Did she really take the time to list this little mushroom? I did, you guys. Um, I Google lensed it and uh, it was the grocery gang and it's flocked. And I was like, I can sell this separately. And it's even got a little bit of like the flocked part is coming off. The flocked, um, flocked means like fuzzy. See how it's kind of fuzzy. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $5 and 50 cents and it sold pretty quickly. The buyer was all in for $10 and 92 cents for this. So let me know in the comments if you think I'm crazy for listing this toy separately. If you would have just thrown it in a lot, uh, what would you have done? Um, so probably about 10 cents in it into $5 and 50 cents. Am I getting rich off this? No, but how cool is that story? All right. The next item are these, uh, embroidered handkerchiefs. They were in the new, new and original packaging. This was kind of long tail, got these at an estate sale for a dollar and I sold them for $12 and 40 cents plus shipping. When I say long tail, it means it took a little while to sell. This one actually surprised me. It sold super quick. I may have underpriced it. Got to get it gunned reindeer. And I got this at the Goodwill bins also. So less than a buck. And somebody offered me $9 and I went ahead and took that and they paid the shipping. The next item is this Fiesta green alligator plush. This came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for it and I took a best offer of $12 plus shipping. 
this item here, um, I think this probably came out of a toy box from a thrift store or something because I didn't write down where I got it. But Star Wars Titanium Series Diecast Wookiee Flyer. Again, probably looked it up on Google Lens because I have no idea what that is. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. Cost of goods was probably like 50 cents. All right, are you guys ready for this? This thing is really pretty much um, a mess. Uh, I got it at the Goodwill bins. I saw its face. It's marked Michelle Fagan on the neck. And I mean, you guys, look at this face. Oh, it's so stinking cute, but it was a mess. Um, it had uh, scuffs like right here on the ear. Um, it had some marks on the legs. Let me show you that marking here. That's the mark on the neck. Always look at that. Um, it's, it's stained. It's uh, really stained on the back. Let me see here. Uh, right here. I mean, this is yellow. And I smelled it. It didn't smell funky. It's got a big old scuff here. I tried getting that off. I couldn't get it off. Um, that's the front, which kind of looks like the back. I don't know. It Maybe its head needs twisted around. I don't know. It's kind of a mess. But I, what I was thinking is maybe somebody can use this for parts. Like the head is adorable. Maybe they can get that off the ear. Now, here's what I did. I did a video in the description going over every little defect of this item, but I wanted to list it. I just wanted to see what would happen. And you guys, it got two bids. Two people were interested in this. I sold it for $15.49. The buyer reached out to me and she's like, I can't pay for this immediately. Can you give me a little while to pay for it? And I'm like, sure, no problem. I'm like, did you watch the video? Because this thing is not in great condition. And she's like, no, I don't know how to, it wouldn't open for me. So I told her how to find the video and she went and watched it. And she's like, it's fine. Um, she's like, I, I don't know. She was completely happy with it. So I shipped it out and um, she's going to get her little baby doll. You know, if you think about it, she can probably put some clothes on it and I don't know, clean it up more. But uh yeah, $15.49 plus shipping. I was hoping I was going to be able to clean it up better. I don't think I saw all this, um, but I did see the scuffs. But I think that might be marker or something because it was not coming off. So can you sell damaged and uh, defective items on eBay? Most definitely. Vintage Little People Fisher Price Yellow Payphone and Skateboard. This came out of a mystery toy box that I picked up from Auctions for You. That is a YouTube channel. Um Basically, she made me a big box of toys um, from a storage unit that she got. She is linked down below in the description, auctions for you. And Donatella Bottolino, I also buy from her. And they are a great place to source for inventory. And I sold this for $10 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage Mother of Pearl set. It's a manicure scoop and button hook set. I don't know. Uh, I got this at a garage sale for a buck, sold it for $14.30 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage beret, I think is how you say it, Normandy uh, hat. And it's made in France. I got this at an estate sale um, clean out. So my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. And this actually surprised me. I sold this really quick. I don't know um, if somebody's going to use this. Well, it winter, I mean, yeah, I guess it could be a winter hat. I was thinking maybe a costume, but anyway, it sold for $16.25 plus shipping and it sold fast. So I had some other ones and I got those listed right away. So those are available in my eBay store. Oh, and you guys, I did create a coupon for um, my Bolo Buddies uh, friends. You guys, if you see something in my store, you can use the code Bolo Buddies at checkout and 20% off your order. Um, so that is available. I do have a link to my eBay store down in the description if you guys want to check it out, but no pressure at all to buy anything from me, but just wanted you to know that is available. And if you don't know how to create coupons in your uh, for your eBay store, I did a video on that, a tutorial. So check that out. It is a great way to increase sales. Um, I have one that is going on for my entire store that's buy one, get one 25% off. 
So they pay full price for the more expensive item and the second item is 25% off when they add it to their cart and use the code that I made. I can't remember what the code is. It's, you'll see it if you go to my store. Um, and then also I created one for um, to send out to my followers, anybody that follows my store and also past buyers. So if you're not following my store, you can click on, um, if you go into anybody's store, well, hold on, let me go back to this one and I'll show you here. Um, visit store. So this will take you into my eBay store. And where is it? Ah, I thought where, there should be a heart to follow. Why don't I see it? If you want to follow a specific item, you can click on the heart. Well, that is so weird. Let me go into this item here. Oh, I bet I can't follow it because it's my own store. Okay. So go into my store. There should be somewhere that says follow and a little heart you can click on. But I'm guessing because I'm in my own store, I can't see it. So you guys can follow me there um, if you would like to. Bolo with Olo. And this is my owl. And this is my upside down logo. If you guys don't know, um, Robin from real creative studios created this owl logo for me. And I absolutely love it. It's incredible. Um, I do have her link down below. Also, uh, she does, um, trailers and banners and outros and stuff like that for YouTube and eBay. So you can check her out if you're interested in services. Okay. So anyway, this huge vintage Vintage silver crackle glass ornament. You guys, this thing is massive. Um, it measures almost eight inches. And it, I mean, it's all eight inches around. It's big. Um, I think it's like, I don't know, maybe for outdoors. I ended up selling this for $35. The buyer was all in for $56.75. It is heavy. Um, I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. So probably about a dollar in that. These Panasonic 10-pack 10, 10 DVD RAM. Um, I don't know. There's something. I think they're blanks. Uh, got these at the Goodwill bins. They were a little bit heavy. So probably had two or three bucks in this. And I sold this for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. And they sold fast. This here was a bad buy. Um, it's an Aurora black Scot Scottish terrier dog. Uh, it's a schnauzer. Uh, the ear is coming loose and has a leg, an area on the leg that needs sewn. All of that information is right here. I also show photos of, um, the damage. I encourage you to also do that um, right here and right here. And I try to put the damage photos towards the front. But if you list from your phone, you're not going to be able to use this area right here. Okay. So you need to go into your desktop and fill that in under the condition. And then it's going to highlight it. And it's also going to show it at the top. And I think that's really important for damaged items to keep you from getting like um, an item not as described. I also put damaged, defective, uh, parts or repair, anything like that, read in all caps in the title if there is a problem with the item. You definitely want to draw attention to the issue if there is an issue. The next item is this vintage shoehorn. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents and I took a best offer of $7 plus shipping and that sold way quicker than I thought. This is a koala family woodsies, um, not to be confused with calico critters. They are kind of similar, but um, they do look different. And once you get to know the figures, you'll know the difference between the two. Uh, I ended up getting this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $26 plus shipping. So my cost of goods was probably a dollar or two. Okay, this came uh, from the Goodwill bins and actually like this is an incredible little item. Uh, I looked up comps and I was pretty surprised. It's a disguise X-Men Marvel weapon hand claw for a costume. I sold this for $22.75 plus shipping and it sold pretty quick. This is a Fisher Price. I'm sorry. Nope, 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 nope. A Coles Cares. A Coles Cares the fish. Um, so basically these, uh, I think, go with books and you get them at Coles. And I don't normally pick these up. The Rebel reseller, if you're not following her, definitely check her out. She does so much plush and so knowledgeable. But she says she picks up Kohl's Cares all the time. They are a major bread and butter, but she says she sells them really well. Um, I am the opposite. I don't pick them up because they're such low dollar, but um, this one sold. And I didn't buy this one. It came in a Facebook marketplace haul. So um, 
I, my cost of goods was really, really cheap. It was just kind of thrown in there. And I was like, you know what? I can list it because I have it. I sold it for $7.80 plus shipping, but it did take a long time to sell. The next, <coughs> excuse me. The next item is a napkin ring. This came out of a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It's basically a reseller mystery box or um, a reseller box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. Definitely check her out again. That's linked down below. Took a best offer of $15 on this. It is a napkin ring. It's metal um, and it is damaged. I think somebody scratched it thinking that maybe it was sterling. So they were testing it. Um, so I had to sell it as damaged, unfortunately, but it still sold. I was actually surprised that it sold. Creative Memories Corner Rounder Cutter Punch Scrapbooking. Um, garage sale, 50 cents. Sold it for $7.80 plus shipping. Creative Memories does great. I love it. Got this one at a garage sale also for $1. It's a Build-A-Bear. It's the Valentine puppy dog with the hearts all over it. Sold this for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. Uh, there was marker on the tag. Let me show you here. And I tried to get it off with hairspray. A lot of times you can get some some of the marker off. It at least made it better. But I didn't want to um, have it get onto the, the dog. So I had to be real careful. But I did get a little, I faded it out. So, but that's why I sold it for less. These are Connects replacement pieces from the Screaming Serpent roller coaster. You guys have heard me talk about that before. I sold these for $8.77 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Liz Claiborne angel brooch. This came from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This pine cone. Um, got this uh, at a garage sale for 50 cents. I think I have footage of this. And I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping. This spooky Halloween couch cover. Um, I opened it to inspect. It did not look used, sold as is, as is, as seen. I just put used because I wasn't 100% sure. I uh, got this at a garage sale for a dollar, took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Uh, I did have this priced higher. I thought it was pretty cool. It looks like a skeleton. I couldn't find anything like it. The person messaged me with the offer saying that it looks like it's just plastic and really cheap. Um, would I take 20? And I was like, yeah, they're kind of right, but it's a good photo prop. So for somebody who's doing photos, it's not meant to be an expensive item, but I went ahead and took their $20 offer. This cargo, uh, Thomas and friends track master, a lot of two flatbed cargo train cars. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box, a toy box. And I sold these for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This vintage brooch and earring set by Nancy Gribble, they're hand painted. I talked about this in another video. This is called a caliper. I use this to measure my jewelry so people know how big the items are. These are really inexpensive. You can get it on eBay for like $15 or less with shipping included. Highly recommend it if you're doing jewelry or smalls. Um, sold this for $18 and got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item is this Aurora Mermaid plush doll, uh, Shimmer Sparkle Princess. I got her at a garage sale probably for like 50 cents. Sold her for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. This battery cover came from a Leapfrog Phonics Fridge Farm um, toy. Uh, it's one of those where you put the letters in and you push the letter and it says the letter. I, I sell these all the time. Um, I got this at the Goodwill Bins and the item did not work. And I'm like, dang it. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of heavy. Uh, I'm like, I'm going to sell the battery cover. And I'm like, this is going to take like 10 years to sell. You guys, it sold super fast. Now, did I sell it for a ton of money? No, but I sold it for $6.20 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $12.53. I really feel like they probably could have bought another used complete toy for that. So um, with the, with the all in price, maybe, maybe not. Um, cause they would have to pay tax and shipping on the other one too. So, but yeah, a replacement cover. These, uh, Revere wear stainless mixing bowls. I just wanted to pick something up different from the bins. And this is what I chose that day. Um, they sold really fast and I'm pretty proud of myself for doing something a little outside of my comfort zone. I sold these for $19.84 plus shipping. It is by pound. So I may have had about $5 in those. 
All right, you guys, let's talk cost of goods. For all 32 items, I had around probably between $35 and $40 in those. It's hard to estimate some of the bins and the mystery box stuff. But, you know, we'll say high end 40 bucks. And I sold these items for $424.99. Um, that $424.99 does not include tax and shipping. That's just the base price that they paid for the item. Um, try to keep those numbers a little more simpler. Um, eBay fees, of course, came out of that. But um, these items are easy to source. Most of the time, easy to ship, um, easy to find. I love it. I love my job. If you love your job, put in the comments, I love my job. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you hit that little bell, that will alert you when I post new videos. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below and a subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.